Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Odds and Ends. On today's episode, we're going to do something that's never been done on the internet machine before. We're going to take a dirty one of those, and we're going to turn it into a nice one of these. Uh-huh. Okay, it's been done on the internet before. Cut me some slack. Jeez. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Alright guys, today on Odds and Ends, what I decided to do was just do a basic teardown of this N64 that I got at thrift for nine dollars and 99 cents as you can see it is pretty grimy and disgusting and dirty let's take a look in there oh yeah that's where it's at uh, but it does work which is nice all right so uh before we get started we're gonna need a couple tools to take this thing apart uh first thing we're gonna need of course is the the 4.5 millimeter security bit we'll need that Need a Phillips head or cross head screwdriver. Um, I typically have various links laying around just in case. And you also need this little plastic piece. Or if you don't have this, which is totally fine, all you need is just a flathead screwdriver, uh, preferably like a precision screwdriver or an eyeglass screwdriver. Um, we just need that to get the uh, the expansion pack out. So, all right, guys. Without further ado, go ahead and start tearing this thing apart. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the expansion pack lid. We're going to set that aside. See the expansion pack is in there. Um, using this tool, we can get in there and we can, uh, you know, lift this up and it'll pull right out. Or if we don't have that handy, like I said, we can take a, a flathead screwdriver and there's a little lip right there. All we need to really do is just pop up underneath that lip. The expansion pack will jump up on us and we'll take that out. We'll set that aside. Oh yeah, look how nasty that is. All right, I've already taken out the uh, the screws. The tip that I usually uh, use or will tell you guys is to get something to put the screws in. These are the, uh, the security screws that go in the bottom. So take the top of this thing off. Ooh, I can, f oh yeah, nice and chunky in there. All right, we'll take the lid and we'll throw that over to the side. Let's take a look in here. Oh, we got a broken piece. Looks like that came off of the uh, the port cover there. All right. What else we got? All right. Kind of see in there. Uh, I see where the expansion pack goes right there. Got our controller ports. We got a ton of screws in here. One thing that you'll notice immediately about the Nintendo 64 is that it doesn't have any moving parts on the inside except for the power switch, which is right here, and the reset button, which is right there. Another tip I do is I, I go ahead and take a picture. Like what you're seeing right now when you open up your Nintendo 64, take a picture right now. And that way you can refer to it later. So, all right, guys, let's get all these screws out of here. All right, guys, hey, I thought I'd uh, break up the monotony of this teardown video and share some uh, fun facts of my favorite console of all time. On September 29th, 1996, the Nintendo 64 was released in North America. It sold 32.93 million consoles, with two-thirds of those consoles being sold in the U.S. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the first layer of screws out, all in the uh, the shielding here, and then up front where the, uh, the, the expansion pack goes. So now we've taken out all those screws, and we've committed to memory where those screws go. We simply just pull out the shielding, and it comes out like so. We'll set that aside. The... Uh, the rest of it's still kind of nailed down with these screws here. They go all the way around the uh, the cartridge slot. You can kind of see they fall along the right side here. And then in the back where the, uh, the, the cords plug in, you'll notice that these screws are actually silver. So we'll make note of that. All right, guys, we'll take those screws out. Hold on. All right, now we got all those screws taken out. They should be uh, pretty easy. You just lift up on the shielding here, and this whole thing is going to come out as one giant piece oh, take the feet off there we'll put the feet over there and we'll see if we can get this out one-handed there we go 
Yeah, so it just pops out. The whole board piece just pops out, you know, in one piece. Now we're going to take this shielding off of there. It just comes right off. And uh, we're going to clean that as well. But looking in here, we've got a couple more parts to consider. The, uh, the plate that goes back here. This piece comes off. This piece right here, this piece comes off. So we're definitely going to clean that. Um, these little metal pieces will come out. And then here is where the LED light shines. And it gives you, when you turn the power on, gives you that red little glow. So we're definitely going to clean that. So, yeah, well, look how nasty that is. Woo! Yeah, that's horrible. All right, let's grab the top piece and uh, we'll take that apart. All right, there it is, the top part of the N64. Um, this is probably the easiest part uh, to take apart. We'll just flip that over. Um, it's just two screws. There's a screw here on the cartridge port and then there on the, uh, the cartridge port. So let's go ahead and take those screws out. All right, as you can see, we took the screws out there. This plastic part just comes off. Let's take a look at how now. Oh, yeah. What is that? There's like something purple in there. Awesome. And then uh, these pieces come out right here. This is where the, uh, you know, you push the cartridge down. Um, the last two pieces that we're going to take out are the power button and the reset button. And these you just pinch it together and push it through. Pinch it together, push it through. I'll turn that over. I'll grab that piece. Take the reset button. Ooh, wants to fight you. All right. All right, guys, we will get this thing washed and uh, we'll put it back together. So stay right there. All right, guys, uh, we got everything cleaned. It's actually drying right now. You want to make sure everything's good and dry before you put it back together. Uh, we're taking a look at the uh, the board and the, uh, the board assembly here. Um, I did forget to take this apart, so we're going to take this apart right now. If you zoom kind of in here by the uh, the expansion port, there's two pieces. This piece and this piece right here will actually come out. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull those out if we can using one hand. Yeah, yeah, it's not going. Okay, hold on. So clamp in there pretty good. So we kind of pull them up a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, take our flathead screwdriver. So get right in the side there and this one should pop right out just like that and then for this one um, we kind of lifted it up a little bit get under there and uh, this one will come yeah right out as well it goes like that then there's a, a bracket or a brace right here you can kind of see it that covers the expansion port where these two little screws go in so we'll go ahead and we'll wedge that thing out just like that and now we can go ahead and just take this piece off it's it's actually just two pieces so not too complicated hold on all right guys fun fact number two for the day uh there are 296 games released for the nintendo 64 in north america now that does not count the variant cartridges or the not for resale cartridges all right that is what it looks like with the uh the, the shielding off you see the on off switches right there flip this thing over if you had the uh, 64 dd yeah, you can hook that up to that. Um, what I typically do is I'll, I'll take a compressed air and I'll clean this out. And then I'll take like an old t-shirt and I'll use the uh, the advantage or credit card method where you put Windex on there and then you, you know, clean inside the, uh, the cartridge slot. You can see there's a little dirt and stuff on the, uh, the port covers. You can see like right there, it's kind of dirty. Right there, it's really dirty. What I typically do for those is I'll get some Q-tips and some rubbing alcohol. And I'll scrub all that dirt off of there. Um, yeah, I don't use anything that's water-based on here because I don't want it to get in the uh, controller ports or get back in there or anything else. So I just use the standard Q-tip and rubbing alcohol method. So, all right, let's clean that up and we'll get this thing put back together. All right, guys, we got everything cleaned. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting it back together. We got the board. We cleaned up the uh, the controller ports. They look pretty nice. Um, just in, in typical Nintendo fashion, you know, this stuff only goes together one way. So here's the bottom heat shield um, where the 64DD port goes, goes right in there. So this thing just sits Ugh. Flip that over All right Goes in there just like that I'm gonna Flip it over Take the top part of the shielding and that just goes on there just like that. We will put our bracket back in there. 
All right, it goes just right on top, and then you just push it down. Just like that. The uh, This piece actually catches right in where the, uh, the expansion port goes, like right there. So we'll put that back in place. And you get like a... Uh, some type of holder so I can hands-free device there you go that's your million dollar idea make a hands-free device for your iPhone all right that piece goes in there make sure you got the, uh, the holes on there lined up and that's gonna do it for the board and the uh, internal heat shielding all right let's grab the uh, the console start putting that thing back together let's start uh, we're gonna start putting this thing together so I had to kind of preload this because you can see there's some springs there so you have to kind of set those up correctly but once they're in there this piece just goes right on top and then uh, you know the screws go right in there and right in there and then we'll take the reset we'll put the screws back in and then we'll take the reset and the power button and uh, we'll pop those back in so just a second all right we got the screws back in let's flip this bad boy over yeah it looks like a completely different console doesn't it all right so first thing we're gonna do we got the uh, the reset button here set that in there it lines right up and it should pop same thing with the uh, the old power button. Just goes right in there. It should pop. I heard it pop. And uh, that's it, guys. That is it for the top part of the Nintendo 64. Let's move on to the uh, the bottom part. All right, guys. Let's take a, a look at the top five most selling Nintendo 64 games of all time. Hey, see if your favorite game's on the list. All right, coming in at number five. Super Smash Brothers selling five million copies number four of course you knew this had to be in the top 10 legend of zelda ocarina of time 7.6 million copies sold number three rareware's amazing first person shooter golden eye 007 this game was a game changer. I still love to play it even though the graphics don't hold up. Here we go guys. Top two games. Number two. Mario Kart 64 selling 9.87 million copies. This game is not only fun to play today, but the source of a lot of YouTube challenge videos. Alright guys, the number one best selling game, The King of Kings, The Grand Poobah. Super Mario 64 selling 11.62 million copies. Don't ever let anybody on eBay tell you that this game is rare, but it sure is a hell of a lot of fun. Let's get back to putting our N64 together. All right, guys. We have the bottom part of the console ready to go. It's all prepped. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is uh, make sure that the LED light thing is right there. Um, it just slides in. And Real simple, just slides right in there, like so, and then make sure that your two metal pieces are back in the, the slots. Alright, now that we got the uh, the board assembly and heat shield all back together, all you do is drop that bad boy in there just like that. Make sure this piece goes down, like so. And there you go. All you got to do is put the screws back in here, the, the silver ones back in these parts. And uh, yeah, we'll get that in there and then we'll finish putting this thing back together. All right, guys, we got this thing put back together. All the screws are back in place. Um, these screws right here, just to forewarn you, um, they can be a little difficult to get back in. Sometimes they don't sit right. Uh, don't force them. Just you know, take them out and try it again. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is when we put this piece back on this is where the uh, AV connection goes um, you have to kind of lift up on the board to get it to, to sit in right so you before you put these screws back in these silver ones just make sure you lift up on the board put that in there and it, it'll snap down pretty quick and uh, secure so not a problem there just remember to do it all right so we'll turn this over I'm gonna grab the uh, the, the port cover put that bad boy right there Flip it back over. We're going to grab the top part. Oh, there we go. 
put that right back on there. Grab our expansion pack. Put that on there. Grab our expansion pack cover. Nice and snug. Uh, and the last thing that we're going to do is you just put the screws back on on the bottom. You, uh, your security bit screws. So uh, we'll get that on there and then I'll show you my super secret special trick to get this thing looking good. If you're, even if you're going to keep it, if you're going to box it, or if you're going to resell it. So, hold on one second. Alright guys, welcome back to the final part of the N64 teardown. Uh, one thing that I use to make my N64 look extra glossy is a little bit of WD-40. All we do, spray a little on the, uh, on the paper towel. Uh-oh, oh, there we go. A little on the paper towel. Then what you want to do is you want to fold the paper towel and kind of make sure it's all in there. And we'll slide the N64 over and watch how night and day this looks. All right, you can see how shiny this side is and how dingy that side is. So we'll finish this up. Make sure you get in like all the all the nooks and crannies and everything around the sides. It's hard to do with one hand down the cartridge slot. And then we'll take a clean paper towel and we will just wipe that down. All right. Yeah, you can see it's got a really nice gloss to it. Uh, see if I can move this over into the sunlight. See if it shows up better. Yeah, it's got a real nice gloss to it. And uh, it is, you know, leaps and bounds above what we started with. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the, the video on uh, odds and ends and uh, I'll see you guys next time.